welcome. This is a very special episode. I say that at the yeah. beginning of every single one. This is this is the one. This like is I special. set up, I always set it up like it's good, like it's an after school special. Like yeah. this one, you're gonna learn some stuff. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, this is an episode I've been looking forward to because oh, this is creepy old crypt. I should set set it up. <laughs> uh, today's show, we're gonna talk about. This is personally, I don't, I can't speak for you, but I'm gonna yeah. speak for me. My favorite land in any theme park. Uh, Personally, yeah. would you say that? I would say that. Yeah, my favorite land. We're here at Disneyland in California. We're back. No, none of this Universal stuff. It beat Toontown on your list. Like, Believe it or not, okay. yes, it beat Toontown. Okay. Uh, but New Orleans Square in Disneyland, California, my favorite land at any theme park. And has you, the best rides. And, yeah, yeah it has I the best think rides. so. Right. Yeah. You got original Pirates of the Caribbean, original yeah. Haunted Mansion. Wait, are those the only two rides it has? The two best. Well, they're the it's two it. best. Yeah. So who cares? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They, they don't. Need, it's qual- Mark quality Twain, over quantity. That's a ride. So is Mark Twain New that, Orleans Square or Frontierland? That is a New Orleans like a boat. Like that is definitely. But it was here before there was a New Orleans Square. You're right. I think, ooh, I think I caught you. I don't know, chicken and the egg sort of situation. Caught you. No, I think uh, he will not admit defeat. No. So there it is. You could see everyone at home. You just saw the stubborn. Stubborn, <laughs> the fallen, I don't, whatever. Anyway, uh, no. Anyway, but we're in agreement. New Orleans Square. Yeah, it's great. my favorite. Like, why? Why is it okay? Well, I guess we kind of answered that as the two best rides. Yeah. Is there anything else that you would say that? Is it the theme of it? Is it what is it? I don't know. It's why just, is the theme so good? I don't know. It's the music, the just atmosphere, the whole land. It's kind of like. I think why what I always liked about it. Even since the first time I ever came here, yeah. I think why I liked it. By the way, I, speaking of the atmosphere, I'm taking it in right now. They got, uh, they have mint and juleps here. We'll talk about that in a little yeah. bit. But but like this summer, they got watermelon juleps. I think yeah. I think we improved the formula. They're legit. They're good. These are legit. So don't mind me as I partake. Anyway, um, I think what I liked about it ever since I first came here was. The other lands were very, uh, what do you call it? They're they're caricatures. They're, I mean, it's it's Disney, so you know, what do you expect? Yeah. Fantasy, fantasy land. Okay, yeah, it's going to be Snow White and Pinocchio, and it's all that kind of you know, yeah, exaggerated stuff. Tomorrowland is kind of exaggerated, mm-hmm. you know, whatever it has to be. I always liked Frontierland and stuff like that because it had a little bit of uh, grit to it, a little, you know, whatever. Yeah. But New Orleans Square was perfect to me because it had the Disney charm, again, of pirates and mm-hmm. Haunted Mansion with ghosts. and all, all of that exaggerated stuff is there, but it's all under this kind of, um, I don't want to say darker theme, but like it's, um, it all feels, it feels uh, magic and real at the same time. Yes. You know what I mean? It's not like a, a big cartoon. No. Like Toontown. That's why Toontown never worked for me is it's like, hey, this is a big cartoon. Huh? Yeah. You know, but you feel like this really exists. Yeah. It like, just feels like, it. yeah, it feels like uh, real world magic mm-hmm. in a way. I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah. Um, and of course, again, Pirates and Haunted Mansion both have a darker side to them. Mm-hmm. Now, I'll say this. When I was a kid, I thought, this is just me, I thought Pirates was scarier than Haunted Mansion. I was so scared to go on Haunted Mansion. Yeah. And when I went, I went on Pirates first thinking, well, this one won't be mm-hmm. bad. But it's, I mean, they're skeletons. It's super, yeah. it's like, super. it's super dark. It's full of skeletons. You drop out of nowhere. All yeah. kinds of stuff. And uh, so that scared the hell out of me. And so by the time I went on Haunted Mansion, I was like, oh, this is it? No, I, I, yeah. I survived Pirates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that was just me as a kid. Yeah. You got plants all over you. I, I know. know. This is probably bugging Whatever. the hell out of you. Nah, no worries. <laughs> anyway. I'll but anyway, that's that's why I liked it. It had this, kind of, yeah, like I said, this kind of grit to it. It just, just, yeah, it felt like real world magic as opposed to we made this up big cartoon mm-hmm. magic, you know. Yeah. So that's why I always really liked it. The theme of New Orleans, New Orleans is cool. Like you said, the music yeah. adds to it. It's that you hear the old old New Orleans music. By the way, we should clarify where we are. Oh, uh, we have we have we have set up shop. We are in the. Haunted Mansion Fast Pass area. Yeah. It was actually the most unpopulated area in all of New Orleans yep. Square. It's empty in here. 
Because it's not, honestly, this summer has not been no, that crowded. The, the, the ride isn't really that crazy, so no. there's not a lot of people. It's going to close soon, too. Actually, tomorrow is the 50th anniversary of really? Haunted Mansion. Yeah, tomorrow. 50 years, August 9th, 1969 was when it yeah. opened. So, yeah. Um, and we're recording this on the 8th, so, you know, do the math. Cool. Checks out. But, uh, anyway, yeah, so uh, barely anyone's here. This summer, this is just a tangent. This summer has been wonderful yeah. at Disneyland. It is it's not so this, nice. This has been the time to go. It has not been that crowded. Yeah. Um, I, you know, and we've talked about this per, mm-hmm. a bunch. You know, so we're a broken record a little bit. Sorry, but uh, th- really, there was a fear that this summer was going to be apocalyptic. Here. Yeah, just like an onslaught because of people. Because Galaxy's Edge, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opening up, everyone was, for five years people have gone, oh, it's going to be too crowded. Oh, the hotels are going to be so expensive. Yeah. Oh, like, like for five yeah. years, people perpetuated this whole thing, mm. and none of it happened. I mean, I can't speak to the cost of hotels. Maybe they were expensive. I, I don't know. I don't stay there. Yeah. But, um, but uh, yeah, no one booked their trip here. It's been so, and, the, and all the passes are blocked out. Yep. It's been so dead. Mm. Um... It's been really incredible, and I've been trying to come here any day off that I have for the past few weeks. I've tried to come here just yeah. because I know in a matter of weeks when other passes are unblocked, it's not going to be like this. Yeah. So I've been trying to savor it, but no one's even using Fast Pass. So yeah. This is a safe place to record. Yes. Um, Plus a lot of it, yeah, like you were saying, it's just easy. Like you don't even have to come here now, really, to get use a lot of the Fast Pass. Like no, yeah, yeah. I mean, Haunted Mansion doesn't need Fast Pass anyway. It's no. a pretty the ride's pretty quick to get on. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, so uh, anyway, this summer is very slow. They actually said yesterday, they actually, Disney or Bob Iger or whatever, mm-hmm. actually copped to it yesterday where he said, like, yeah, the Galaxy's Edge opening was, like, below expectation. Like, people suspected that, but he actually said it. Yeah, he went out, it's on record. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it was, like, they, they their stock took a dip this yeah. quarter. Like, the lowest since 2015, I guess, uh, that it's happened. Well, buy it now, then. Yeah, really. Yeah. I mean, it's not like Disney's going away. Yeah, I know. You know, but that's just it. Um, but uh, I think, you know, a lot of people attribute... I know this is not New Orleans Square, but whatever. Yeah. Um, a lot of people attribute it... You know, there's a lot of people arguing about, like, what, why why were there less people at Galaxy's Edge this summer than, than we mm-hmm. anticipated? And, I, and, you know, there's so many people out there that really want to point to, oh, people hate the new movies. That's what it is. It'd be a Hey, if you know theme parks at all, like, we, like we're, we're we, you yeah. know, we go inside on this stuff. We see it all. I, and, and if anybody out there has too, you know, if they built a new land based on the Golden Girls, or they built a new land based on what's something everyone hates. I uh, uh, don't know. Taxes. What's something absolutely <laughs> tax tax land <laughs> tax land? If the IRS had their own land yeah. here, it would be packed. Yeah. Theme parks are booming. They're meant for everybody. Yeah. And, not and if you honestly, people like the movies. Yeah, exactly. And if you think a brand new Star Wars based land would not have a bunch of people wanting to go to it, like, yeah. like that, that is, I'm sorry. No matter what the new movies do, the new Rise of Disney. If, the new, if, if Episode Nine was was yeah. someone taking a dump for two hours, yeah, the, the lot the people would still want to go to the land. Yeah. It doesn't, you know. Mm-hmm. So I think that's not what it is. I think it's exactly what we said, what I said a minute ago was. You had five years of people saying it's going to be packed. It's going to be packed. It's going to be expensive. It's going to yeah. be that people stayed away. And 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 we can't forget that the second ride is not open. Yeah, that's a big one too. That's and so uh, yeah, people people yeah that yeah. that's supposed to be like the 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 big enchilada yeah. of the new land. So with all of that stacked up against it, why would you book a trip now? You yeah. know, we're local, just, so we, I've been a hundred times. Yeah, you just wait, but yeah. yeah. There are people are going to wait until December when that opens in Florida and January when it opens here. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. You know, so You're to me... You're not getting 100% of the, yeah. the whole land. So to me, all the finger pointing about like, oh, it's yeah. it's the new movies. It's uh, people don't like Star Wars. I think that's crap. I yep. think that's total crap. I agree. Hey. You guys, don't mind the train. <laughs> the train... The train conductor's always trying to get in our show. Yeah. He wants a cameo, you know, whatever. Anyway... That's just my thoughts on that. I don't know if you had any other thoughts on no, that. No, no, I agree. Before we get back yeah, to before we get New Orleans, New Orleans Square. Square. Oh, the band's playing right now. Did that guy get his chart, front phone charge? Oh, yeah. Tell him what we saw. Oh, dude, there's a New Orleans Square, like, stage or whatever, and uh, where they just play music and everything, and nobody was there. Nobody was on stage, and this guy goes over the velvet rope that's blocking people off, and he's just searching around, and I realize he's searching for an outlet for his phone. Like... 
<laughs> this guy was just walking on everyone's, uh, walking around everyone's musical instruments because yeah. the band wasn't there. Yeah, and it's just like, what did they do? And he found one like behind the piano. Yeah, what the and hell is like, this? And it's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, you're not allowed to do this. And he came, he kept coming back and checking for his phone and stuff. Yeah. So, but now, now they're playing. So never hopefully. underestimate the power of people wanting to charge their phone at yeah. Disneyland. They will climb they'll, anywhere. They'll block any line. They'll do anything to get to that outlet. I mean, I've seen people straight up laying on the ground in the middle of the castle walkthrough. Yeah. Because there's an outlet right there. And it's That's like, oh, I'm, it. I'm on my phone. I'm texting Justin. Okay. But, yeah. Like, what are you doing? Like, not there. Oh, um, I don't get it. But yeah. julep was good. I'm done, yeah. by the way. I want to let everyone know I am done. It's an awesome julep. Thank you. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so what were you we talking about? Oh, yeah. The, New Orleans Square. Yeah, so the, the guy band. charging his phone yeah. is insane. Um, anyway, yeah, the band. That, we were talking about the music. They always have jazz bands playing. Like, mm-hmm. right now they're doing it um, yeah. back there. They're always, like, roaming around and playing. I just love that aspect of it. All the old blues, the bluegrass stuff, whatever. We I think we talked about this in a previous episode when we had the steamboat, when we were on the steamboat. Yeah. And they had a jazz band playing mm-hmm. on the steamboat. When they when, What was that? Was that when they did a late night event here? That was what it was, right? Yeah. And they had the jazz band play on the boat. It was on there. That there was there's so a small fun. little section that they kind of turn into a stage yeah, that yeah. they play on. Yeah, it's really cool. What I thought was cool was for uh, well, when they were doing construction for uh, the train and mm-hmm. Galaxy's Edge and all that, uh, they they canceled the Fantasmic show that they do in the river here. They weren't doing yeah. it for a while. And during that time, they would just float out a raft with the jazz band on it. They almost looked stranded yeah. in the river. Just in the middle. And they would just push this raft out. And there, So there's this raft of these guys stranded just do 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 you know. But they were so good. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say I liked it better than Phantasmic. I, uh, Phantasmic has all this elaborate stuff to it. All you got to do, have, have a, a guy on a banjo and throw <laughs> him on a raft. I love That's that, the Mark Twain one. The one yes. where we're just chilling out on yeah. Mark Twain. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. So the, the, the sound and everything is a big part of it. But um, I think what was always my favorite aspect uh, of it, you know, and it, again, the sound is part of it, but just walking around... Yeah. Um, New Orleans Square had the most like, what, like little nooks and crannies to explore. You know what I mean? Like Frontierland, Adventureland, stuff like that. It's pretty, pretty open. Pretty, you know. Okay, there's that, that, that. Yeah. But New Orleans Square actually has little winding, uh, you know, little winding streets. Yeah. And stuff you could kind of go in and go into little shops and stuff little, like that. And and the like the sounds Again, and everything. What the, a diva! The, uh, yeah. the like in the just like Main Street, there's sounds coming out of the windows. Yeah, like, yeah, right. The the windows and stuff above. Yep. Now, in some of the windows above you, is Club Thirty Three. Yes. The secret Disney club. Mm-hmm. We got to do an episode just about that. Yeah. We should. I think we so should. We won't go into it that much. Yeah. We should do it at Club Thirty Three. We got to get in. How do we? <laughs> okay. Whoever's watching love this, that. let's just film get in us there. In. An hour. We're gonna film an episode. Yeah, I just recently someone said they could get us in. I know I got a my, my inside guy. Let's ruin that. Let's just absolutely yeah. burn that bridge. Never let us back. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, but it'd be worth it because we get a good episode out of it. Yeah. Anyway, no, but but that's what was always so cool about the legend of Club Thirty Three mm-hmm. is you'd be walking through New Orleans Square and you'd be looking up there and you'd see like there's people up there. Why? Are, why are there people in that yeah. window? And it's like, that's a secret club. And again, that's all part of why New Orleans Square was so cool is it really, that I think this land has the most mystery. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Between between the pirates, the pirates and the Haunted Mansion, both very mysterious, arguably the most mysterious of the attractions oh, here. Yeah. But, but then you had that too. It was like, you'd be walking down the streets and, and you'd see people in there. It's yeah. like, how, or, or someone would walk out on a balcony and walk back in and it's like, how did he get up on yeah, the balcony? Yeah, where's the entrance? What is that, yeah. you know? Um, even if you eat at the Blue Bayou, which we did in our first episode of yeah. this, you'd see a guy come, you know, there's like a house facade in there. Mm-hmm. You and you'd see a guy come in and out of it. Yeah. Wh- who was that? Yeah. What, what was that? And it's, you know, Club 33, you yeah. know. There's just mystery to all of it. And that, that's what I loved. Like, that just made, when I would come here, my imagination would just run wild. Oh, yeah. Like, what, the, like, yeah. what is actually going on? You know, and we'll talk more about some of the mystery. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do an episode of, like... Well, I was going to oh, say, there's, there's, more, there's other, cl- there's non-Club yeah. 33 mystery we can yes. talk about in a minute. Definitely. But anyway, but that's what I love is looking up on that stuff. But yeah, so th- you hear some of the, I was there earlier this morning and uh, yeah, there's like a place that 
it sounded like someone was feeding a bird, mm -hmm. and then the bird started whistling uh, a, the Tiki Room, like, oh, really? let's all sing like the birdies sing, yeah. tweet, 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 yeah. I'm not going to sing it, but it was something like that, you know, yeah. whatever. All these little Easter eggs, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, yeah, I always loved that. Now, I always loved exploring the streets and walking down um, whatever. I think my only, I, you know, you go into the little shops, stuff like that. I think my only, not regret, but like, the one thing I always wished was I wish the stores had more kind of stuff that I was interested in. Yes. Like, I guess, from what I understand, when, when, when uh, New Orleans Square opened, they had like actual, like, they went out to third parties and got like, they had like an antique shop. Okay. And, you know, stuff like that. I would love an antique shop there. Mm. But now it's not that. It's like there's a perfume shop. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going there. Sorry. I yeah. just don't. Uh, there's like a Pandora. Mm. You know, it's all kind of become like Disney Empire like yeah. stuff. You know, or, or, you know, there's a dress shop. Uh, yeah. It's like, you know, and they're not bad stores, but it's like just me, my own selfish yeah. want. You know, it's like I wish there was, yeah. I wish there was a store that had like, you know, whatever. I, I guess. I guess there kind of is. Like, they have, uh, what's it called? Le is it the Bat on, Bat on Rouge or Oh, whatever? the one, the store at the end of Exit. With the Haunted kind of Mansion stuff. Yeah. yeah, so they do have a store with some Haunted Mansion stuff mm -hmm. in it. They have a store with pirate stuff in it. What is that one called? Pieces of Eight? I think so. Yes, it's attached. Yeah, and it's weird. Pirates just never has very good merchandise. Nope, never ever. Haunted Mansion, they'll do some good stuff. Yeah. Not all of it, but but some of it will be good. Or, like, they'll, they'll just sell a tombstone. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. But uh, Pirates, it's like, here's a picture of Johnny Depp. Uh, here's a, a shirt that says I be with her Yeah You know it's like uh, Nah I'm good no. um, But yeah So that's the only one I can think of Or the only Couple little stores That I might check out But mm. and Isn't there an ornament shop Occasionally Or is that like There was There was They took it out I think that was attached to, Or I think it got removed For the new Club 33 entrance. Yes You're right You're right Now yeah I guess we'll talk about that Tied into Club 33 One One Again, the details are everything, and I loved it going through, and they would have just little courtyards and stuff to walk into. Yeah. Little just quiet areas for no reason other yeah. than they're just there. And that's the one shame, is the best little nook in the whole thing was what they called the Court of Angels. Yes. And it was just a little courtyard, had a little fountain, a stairway, but it was just really picturesque. Lots of people would take pictures there, mm. you know, and it was, it was such a... A nothing area yeah. like there's nothing really there yeah but it was just the perfect emblem of the whole thing like you know just a quiet little spot with you know it was a little courtyard and you could just chill in there yeah i don't know it was just really nice and that got sucked into club 33 now it's sealed off to the public yeah you can't go in there yeah that, that's really unfortunate i think that was a real crime <laughs> It was really, there. really cool to, to be able to go in there and walk around, and you couldn't go up the steps or anything, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but you it was really cool. Now, as of now, the steps go right up to Club yep, 33. That's, that's basically... Is that how it was? Gold for steam. He'll keep doing it. Guys, we're, we've been steamed. Yeah. Guys, enjoy the jazz music for just a moment. No, I think we're good. I, th I think he's not going to do it anymore. Oh, really? Until the second we start talking. I know. It's like as soon as I say a word. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. So, Court of Angels. Court of Angels. Club yeah. 33. Stairway. That getting taken away from the public yeah. was a shame. I, um, I completely agree. I, I think that that was such a great little detail. Now, I don't know if they were surprised by it or what, but yeah. I was surprised how me, how much outcry there was when they sealed that bottle. Yeah, when they announced Cause, that. Because I, like, I bet a lot of people were just like, oh, it's just stairs. Who cares? You yeah. know, in the management, you yeah. know, but, but when that happened, people the internet pissed. exploded. Yeah. People were pissed. And I will be curious if, because uh, I heard, I think it was Kim Irvine who, who she's like, I don't know if she's president. I don't know what role she yeah. has. She's a, a higher up here over Disneyland. Mm -hmm. I think she's the president just at Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Not parks, but yeah, Disneyland, uh, whatever. Um, and she said there. She said that that really killed her to do that. Like she's like, 
I didn't want to. Like so they kind of like forced hands. Maybe kind of so, yeah. yeah. But she said, but she said I have a compromise. She's like, I came up with an idea that's a compromise where people could still go in there. Yeah. And you'll hear about it soon. So what is that going to be? And so that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is like, you know, are there certain days to let people in? But then I was thinking like, is this just going to cost me like 500 bucks to go in there? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, are they just going to charge me? You know, yeah. who knows? Who knows yeah. what the compromise is going to be? But anyway. Um, but uh, it's really cool. Uh, it's a really cool detail. I wish it was a, open to the public. Yeah. Um, you can still kind of see it through the gate. Like the yeah. the gate that used to be open is now closed. And you can look through it. Yeah. That's about it. Um, and it's so funny because people look through that crack all the time. And they try to put like planters in front of it. And people just step over yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. Um, yeah. So that was a great detail. There's still another little cute courtyard yeah. Uh, between the the little the pirates shop and the yes ma- mansion shop. with the fountain and everything yeah so um, you know it's still cool it's mm. still a nice little quiet area yeah they 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 definitely dressed it up a little bit after we lost the other one yeah it's some form of penance you know but it's not the same you know but anyway whatever so that was kind of a blow and then um yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. There were other changes with Club 33, but that was all internal. We'll talk about that. In yeah, we'll go through the whole like trophy um, room and all that stuff. Yeah, 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 definitely. We can go in depth on that. Yeah, I'm glad we brought it up because I didn't realize. I was like, well, yeah, that is its own episode. Yep. I can't believe we didn't even think about it. Um, but anyway, um, now we mentioned the mysteries of Club 30, or no, God, of New Orleans Square. Yeah. Um. I guess we could talk about that. Uh, you know, we've talked extensively about pirates. Mm-hmm. We've talked extensively extensively about yeah, haunted mansion. Haunted. Did we talk about the the like plan at one point to unify them? Oh yeah. Did we I, go into that on here? We might have. Where the okay. the the board the bricked up thing and the, yeah. the names and the the yeah. storylines and everything. yeah. So there's m- tons of mega theories about. Yeah. Pirates and Haunted Mansion being combined, and I guess at one point they were planning to officially do it. Yes. Um, story-wise, like right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, story-wise. Yeah, not not actually connect yeah. the rides, but uh, there's all kinds of little connecting threads, like uh, um, the name Lafitte. Yeah. Well, whatever. Wherever pirates, pirates. is back there. Uh, like there's Lafitte's Landing. Jean Lafitte is like the famous pirate, you know, that they mention, and then there's an anchor over there that's been there since like the beginning of Disneyland yeah. that has a plaque that says some say Jean Lafitte left a wake of blood in his path yeah. but don't believe everything you read like it's always said that mm. um, and then like one of the chairs that's in the, Pir- the, ha- the Pirates of the Caribbean is in the attic of the Haunted Mansion yep. little connecting things and, and there was a theory and again maybe there was a rumor that they were actually going to officially kind of do this mm. was that like the pirate who got Jean Lafitte maybe yeah who got all the treasure in Pirates retired to the mansion in his and, later and years, went yeah. crazy and died yeah. you know and that's you know but anyway at one point they were going to put a crypt that took you underground all the way over to uh, Tom Sawyer Island yeah and it was going to be like going down into catacombs and crypts mm-hmm. and there was like skeletons and it was like the dead all the dead all the people that Jean Lafitte killed mm-hmm. This wake of blood, so to speak, that he left behind. Yeah. They're all buried down there. And it was all supposed to be this unifying New Orleans thing where New Orleans is where Jean Lafitte retired and just went crazy. Yeah. And that, you know. So that didn't come to pass. But the beginning of that, like like planting the seed for that, mm. you can find here. Bec- there's all these uh, kind of like, what would you call them? Little, like, archways. Archways over here. Um, in the architecture, and one of them is bricked up, like yeah. sealed up, and it has a year above it. What was the year? I don't know, 18 something. 18 said, something. Yeah. But that year, 1856, something like that. And that year is above it, and it's bricked up, like like some, like they were sealing something inside. Yeah. And supposedly that That's is like, the beginning of where, like. Yeah, symbolizing like where, like, yeah, what like, was going to be or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like something was going to go down there, yeah. or like, or, you know, whatever. And it never. Came yeah. to be. But you can read online. There's a. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of this blog. I'm gonna look it up. Um, I know this is really lame to do on camera, but uh, I think it's. There's a blog online that I really love. 
Yeah, okay, there it is. Uh, there's a blog online called The Long Forgotten Blog. Mm-hmm. And it is a blog all about the Haunted Mansion and the history of Haunted Mansion. Yeah. And it's still updated, not every, not, all, not every day, maybe, maybe even once a year, but mm-hmm. it still gets updated by its caretaker. And um, it is all about, you know, there's like legends and rumors yeah. and debunked whatever. And there's a whole article about that unifying thing yeah. of New Orleans Square. Long forgotten blog. Look up, look, yeah, just comb through that blog and you'll see the post about it, and among cool. other things. Yeah, the It's one of my favorite blogs because it's clearly someone who just loves Haunted Mansion and they pour yeah. over every detail. Yep. Even like, hey, just the other day, this piece of art went up for auction. We've never seen it before. Yeah. It shows a ghost that was never in the mansion. Here it is. You know, yeah. just stuff like that. I love stuff like yeah. that. So. Oh, yeah. Long forgotten blog. Definitely check that out. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so, the, the, you know, Jean Lafitte's name shows up all over Pirates New, or- New, Orleans New Orleans Square, Square just yeah. in general. And you'll even see, like, when they when they redid... Uh, when they redid uh, Tom Sawyer Island to be to have like Pirates Lair on it mm-hmm. or whatever, all the signage and like uh, story stuff that they posted up yeah. keep mentioning Jean Lafitte. Oh, really? Like, that yeah. is part of the lore now yeah. in 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 this area. So uh, it's pretty cool. But anyway, reading that theory stuff was my yeah. imagination was just going nuts. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's always been kind of a lingering thing. Mm-hmm. Um, now, enough of that crap. What's the most important thing in New Orleans Square, obviously, is the food. Oh, of course. Um, what's the best food item in New Orleans Square? Uh, I'm trying to think of the item. I, I, it was mint julep for me. Like, but not anymore. Yeah, it, it, really, they you changed were, it. I like this one better now. Yeah, I do too. Um, I think that's better. It, but it but post. It. Okay, they did change... The mint julep was the famous drink here. Yeah. But they changed it. So it was enough of a change that you, it downgraded it, it for you? It downgraded it. Really? I don't know what's above it, though, because I would... I want to say Monte Cristo is my favorite, but I can't get those very much anymore. Like, I don't really get those at, well, anymore. Well, yeah, I, I mean, how often do you yeah. go to... Yeah. You know, they have them at Blue Bayou. They have yeah. them at the cafe here, but we never really go. Yeah. Unless it's like a special occasion, mm. kind of, you know? But, uh... For, if you're walking, if you're just doing like a quick meal, yeah, I gotta say bread bowl. I gotta oh, say bread bowl. There's the land of the bread bowl. I gotta say, yeah, that's yeah. What I, I think that's, I, to be honest, I never get bread bowls here. I always yeah. get bread bowls with the chili in it at the Golden Horseshoe just down the way. Oh, okay. Oh, I never get see, the, any of the other ones. I'm a, I'm a chowderman. Yeah. So I get the clam chowder here. It's either there or the. Yeah. There's a place over there for it too. That's what I get. Mm-hmm. Um, but the chili one's good, too. They're all... Yeah. They're all I like They're all the bread Anything in a bread bowl's great. They have corn chowder at yeah. this one. And when I got it at first, I thought they were giving me clam chowder. So the first bite was disgusting. It was like, all right, uh, clam chowder. Uh, I have a mouthful of corn. Where did yeah. this come from? You know, when... Now, I like corn, yeah. but a mouthful of corn when you don't expect it yeah. isn't good. No. Like, that's a actually very upsetting yeah. uh, thing. But uh, once I knew what it was, it was delicious. Mm. Anyway, uh, I gotta go Red Bull, but yeah, New Orleans, uh, uh, Blue Bayou is here, which that's my favorite restaurant in the whole park. I agree. I yeah. totally agree with you. And my favorite item there would might be the Monte Cristo. Monte yeah. Cristo's classic. It is. Um, yeah, we see you. But um, but if you're just walking up for a quick thing to eat, the Bread Bowl to me yep. is king. Do they still have? They used to have it over there with lobster bisque. Do they still have that? I don't know. They do have some lobster stuff over at the, what, Fisherman's Wharf yeah, or whatever? Yeah, or whatever. What is it called? Uh, I can't. Grotto? I don't know. No, 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 no. No, we'll get this. Uh, f- 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 Harbor, Harbor Galley. That's Harbor it. Harbor Galley. Yep. There it is. Uh, I think they have lobster stuff there. I don't know about um, lobster bisque in a bread Yeah. Bowl. I know they did at one point. It was pretty good, but I still like the chowder. The whatever. Uh, yeah. Do you like the gumbo? Uh, I actually don't really. I had it not too long ago. Yeah, it wasn't that good. In the bread bowl? Yeah, in the yeah, bread bowl. Yeah, it's okay. It's not yeah. great. No. Um, now, I do like... I, it's a different gumbo at the Blue Bayou, and I do like that gumbo, yes. personally. I, I like that one more. Mm. But yeah, the one in the bread bowl here... Uh, um, yeah, I would, I would either get the clam chowder or the chili. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, that would be my favorite item. Yeah, the mint... Oh, so back to Julep Gate. Yeah, julep gate. We'll get into what, what what happened. Yeah, the mint julep was like the famous drink here, and uh, if you don't know, it's like a minty drink. You yep. know, there's mint in it, whatever. 
And, uh, you know, it's Disneyland, so it's exaggerated. They make it real minty, and it was even, like, green. Like, it was colored green, you know, whatever. And then, for some... That was, like, an iconic, famous drink here. And then, for some reason, a couple years ago, they changed it, and they made it... They're not, like, not green anymore, and it's more, More like... lemony. It's more like lemonade. Yeah, it's, like, barely minty and more lemonade. And it's, like, the fun of this drink was that it was a mint drink. Yeah. You know, and some people were like, "Ooh, it tastes like mouthwash." Okay, it's not for you then. It's yeah. not for you. But I think by trying to make it lemonade, it, it, it's weird. I feel like they're doing that a lot here at Disneyland. I feel like like every weird drink they add anywhere is just kind of another lemonade. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like even Galaxy's Edge, I feel like every drink that it has, look at all these weird drinks, and they're all just kind of like different, different lemonades. lemonades. Yeah, you yeah. know. And don't get me wrong, I like lemonade. But yeah. I like the mint julep because it was real minty. Mm. I, I don't know. To me, to downgrade that, I don't know. But the watermelon julep was better. Back to minty. And it was a little like more minty. A lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there was actual mint leaves in yep. this. Do they not do that anymore in the regular? I don't one? know. I haven't gotten one in a while since. Like yeah. I got it like once or twice since they changed. Yeah. It. But back in the day, they when yeah they had mint leaf and a uh, uh, slice of lemon on it and stuff like that. Yeah. Hmm. A little spear, I guess. Uh, but this was really good. Yeah. I did like it. But yeah, it's like what what happened? Why why? What was the catalyst to change the mint julep? I guess, I guess to appeal to a larger audience by making it a lemonade. Yeah, maybe. But to me, the yeah. mint julep thing was always packed. So what did they need to do that? I I, I I truly don't understand. I know. They they had a signature item and then they altered it. Changed I don't it. get it. I don't. Maybe they got it. complaints. I don't know. But, but I did. But there were people who tweeted when when that happened. Like, no, oh, I didn't like it anyway. It tastes like mouthwash. Dude, the flavor mint came first. Yeah. They made toothpaste taste like mint so it wouldn't taste like chemicals. Yeah. Rewire your brain. I yeah. don't know what to tell you. I don't it's know. Be like, that'd be, I, I, I said this before. It's like it's like eating strawberries and going, oh, I don't like strawberries. It tastes like a car air freshener. They make a car air freshener smell like strawberries. Because, uh, yeah. We go around and around. It's very upsetting. <laughs> But anyway, uh, mint julep. The other signature thing, now they have the mint julep over there. It's got its own bar, yeah. bar to get them. Other thing they have there, classic beignets. Yeah. A New Orleans classic. Mickey shaped. Mickey shaped beignets. So you know you're in New Orleans, but you're in Disneyland. You Okay. Yeah. Now, sometimes, now they are... I mean, what are they typically made out of? I mean, they're just like uh, doughy. Just doughy. It's they're just almost a, like a donut. Yeah, it's like a donut, Mickey shaped kind of donut. And, but they, and no glaze. Yeah, they're like a breaded, you know, yeah, it's almost like donut breading or whatever. Yeah. Mickey shaped, and they throw them in a bag full of powdered sugar. Yeah, they just like and throw them in a bag, shake put them up, a scoop of powdered sugar in there, and yeah. then they hand them over to you, and you, you and shake them up. And they're hot out yeah. of the oven. Fryer. So good. <laughs> oh, yeah, out of the fryer. <laughs> whatever, you know, it can't be that bad for you. Um,. Now, sometimes they do different flavors. They have the regular one like we talked about, yeah. and then they'll do like, oh, uh, Limited it's Christmas. Yeah. They're going to do gingerbread ones, or they're going to do uh, ones with crushed peppermint mm. in them. Now, the ones I just mentioned, I think are all really good. I think the gingerbread ones are great, and the ones with crushed peppermint, I love. Okay. That's about it. They've done other ones, and they, you know, it's like, oh, golden beignets. For in honor of pirates, and it was like lemon sparkles. Yeah, yeah, not it's, good. It, I don't. Yeah, uh, they the original's did, the best. They did Fantasmic, and it was like because like the purple dragon, they were purple beignets. They just made your mouth turn black. Yeah, and it kind of stained like, your fingers. Yeah, it was just terrible. I'm going. I the the best is the regular straight beignets. up regular beignets. The gingerbread ones were good. Yeah, don't get me wrong, but regular for me. Um, so those are really good. Um, is it possible to eat them without looking like a moron? No, uh, because they're covered in powdered sugar, and yeah. that just blows up in your face you anytime see, you take a bite. No matter who you yeah. are or how you handle it, it's it, you everywhere. just go, and it's just, yeah, everywhere. And you look like Scarface. It's on all the tables if you look. Like it's yeah. ever, it's on the ground. Uh, I don't. I have never eaten one and didn't look like a moron. Uh, but that's the fun of it. Is there pow- it's powdered sugar? You know, you dust yeah. it off. You're good. I mean, every now and then you wear a black piece of clothing and it doesn't come off, but that's okay. Yeah, um, you'll be fine. It's Disneyland. No one's judging. Mm-hmm. You know. But anyway, so they got that. Um, 
That's connected to a restaurant. What is it called? French Market? Yeah, that's uh I go there quite often because it's I like just French it's Market. a it's a table service, not table service, it's a counter like you take your tray up and you yeah. tell them what you want and they give you the thing. But it's actually good. like good quality. It's not just oh, it is. oh take a sandwich, you know. Yep. It's actually good stuff. They have really good chicken, they have yep. meatloaf meatloaf, right? I love meatloaf and yeah, that's the do. only place in the park that has it and I love it. Is that it. the only place? I don't think you can get meatloaf. Oh wait, maybe the place in on Main Street. The, I, can't, I can't remember what that's called. Yeah, I think they do have meatloaf yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's like an actual sit-down restaurant yeah. with waiters and all that. Menus and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, you do, you do get that meatloaf. I've seen you. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, that restaurant is pretty good. Like, they have they have really good stuff there and juleps in there, too. Um, what other restaurants are there? There's Cafe Orleans, and that's a sit-down that's actually like they serve you. Yeah. And that place is good. They got the they got the Monte Cristo there. In case you haven't ever had a Monte Cristo, some people have it. It's a fried sandwich. I mean, right? It's yeah. like it's like ham and cheese and turkey maybe. Mm-hmm. And they deep fry the sandwich. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And it you'll get it and it's the best thing you'll ever have. And you'll get halfway through it and go, Oh what did I do? What did I do? Um it's probably the best food to split with someone because yeah. it's so easily shareable. And I don't think I've ever done that. I mean, every time I order it, I eat it and I go, why didn't I split that with somebody? So I never learn. Um, but anyway, Cafe Orleans, that's pretty good. You yeah. eat outside or whatever. I dig that. Um, Blue Bayou is my favorite. I'm with you. That's the that's the restaurant inside Pirates. Yep. Um, and it being connected, it being connected to Pirates is so cool. Because you can like, see the boats go by. Yeah, you see the boats go by, and then every now and then, if a cast member's nice, they'll open the door and walk you onto the ride. Yep. It's so cool. Yeah. I really love it. Um, train is pulling in yet again. Um, they could probably still hear us. I'm gonna yeah. assume. Yeah, go for it. Uh, but anyway, uh, okay, we see you. We got yeah. it. No, you can't smoke here. Um. But yeah, those are mainly the places to eat in the bread bowl place, mm-hmm. which is, I it's everybody calls it Try Our Gumbo because that's the big sign up. Yeah, front. they have a big banner that says Try but Our Gumbo. Under it, on the front, is yeah. the actual name of the place, yes. and it's like the Royal Street Veranda. Or Royal whatever? Street Veranda. Yeah, yeah. but that's the actual just, name. No one calls it. Yeah, that. because it's it, overshadowing it is a giant sign that says Try Our Gumbo. Yeah, like literally everyone I know goes. Yeah. Hey, you want to stop at Try Our Gumbo? Yeah, you know the thing. It's like. Um, but I, hey, I've been going here for years and years. I didn't know the name of it yeah. until a year or two ago. Yep. So I can't uh, fault them. Yeah. That um, the you just said it a minute. The Fisherman's Wharf area, the Harbor oh, Galley. Harbor um, Galley. That yeah. place is good too. Yeah. Like, yeah. The food is good. They do bread bowls, like we said. Bread and bowls. They got a lobster roll. Yep. Um, it, I mean, it doesn't have the most lobster, mm, yeah. but it's good. Yeah. And they it's had a good um, seafood they had sandwich. stuffed potatoes, didn't they? Like baked potatoes for they a while. They did for a while, but not anymore. Yeah, it's gone. I think those went to like Fantasyland yeah. somewhere or something like that. Yeah. So I should say, as I mentioned mm-hmm. earlier, Fantasmic is a show they do in the river here. Yeah. That's part of New Orleans Square. And at night, it takes over New Orleans Square. Fills the place. New Orleans Square becomes a viewing arena for yeah. the show Fantasmic. Where, how would you describe Fantasmic? Mickey it's, it's a like out. yeah, it's a giant like firework fountain show spectacular thing. Mickey comes out. Yeah, run. It's his show. He runs the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, Mickey does all this stuff. He pulls stuff out of his imagination. Yeah. And it comes real. And he fights a dragon, kills it. Yeah. Whatever. Whole bunch of stuff. So um. Anyway, it takes over New Orleans Square. Everywhere's viewing area. I, I like Fantasmic. Yeah, it's, it's a great. good show. But, man, for a couple of years, Fantasmic was under construction during uh, when they were getting the river yeah, ready. Yeah, when they emptied the river and all that stuff. For Star Wars construction, stuff like that. And uh, there was like a, a year or two, a year? At least a year, mm-hmm. uh, Fantasmic wasn't there. And I have to say, I do, I did really like the quiet New Orleans Square nights. As much as I like Fantasmic, yeah. it was so nice coming here at night and it's all lit up and the jazz band's playing mm-hmm. and you could just sit and eat a bread bowl and look at the river yeah. I I like that I like Fantasmic but I wish there was a happy medium where like a couple well I guess I guess they don't do Fantasmic every night do they I mean no not every night B- busy nights like weekends and yeah stuff. And I summer, think that's fine lot. like hey you know what if you want to do it on a weekend cool but man those other nights it's really nice to come to New Orleans. New Orleans Square is so peaceful and nice at night. Yeah. 
I kind of miss it when Fantasmic's going on. It's mm. so loud and like, all right, you know. So anyway, that's my two cents. It was nice for a year to yeah. not have it. Yeah. As much as I like it, whatever. Mm. Okay, so the train station in New Orleans Square. Yeah, it's right over there. Has a has a, a special significance uh, yeah. as well. Loud because, horns, loud steam. Yeah, like, well, <laughs> we, you've been hearing them all yeah. day, but. Um, it was, it used to be, before it was New Orleans Square Station, it was the Frontierland Station, is what yeah. they called it. Uh, but anyway, um, there's a whole bunch of, like, here's the train right here, and then on the other side of the train, like, beyond the tracks, mm. there's a whole bunch of little buildings, and all, you know, they, yeah. they really d- fleshed it out. It's a whole train station. Yeah, it even has you, a Morse code, like, you can hear the telegraph yeah. office. To putting out Morse code. Yeah, you hear Morse code, which, uh, which I think is the opening speech. The opening in day, Morse code. Yeah, yeah, Walt Disney's opening yeah. day speech in in Morse code. Yeah, but you can't go over there. It's a bunch no. of inaccessible buildings. However, you used to back in like the fifties and sixties, mm. you could walk over to those buildings, and check and them out, chill. So. Yeah, chill out, and then the train would come, and whatever. Yeah. But not anymore. You don't go over to that side. Yeah. But uh, uh, it was really funny because a few years ago they did like a nighttime Halloween party, mm-hmm. and they had a DJ over on that side of the tracks yeah. and he was like you know and they let people dance in that area so there were people walking o- there were people like dancing on the platforms and buildings <laughs> back there that you know that were inaccessible since 1967 or yeah. whatever which was hilarious yeah. people were like dude I'm, yeah, there's and a DJ over here and I'm dancing yeah. But but when they closed the train down for uh, you know again Star Wars construction yeah they had to they rerouted the whole train track yeah so they had to shut down a lot of like yeah. the, the rivers of America and the yeah. train and all that stuff so when they shut down the train yeah. they actually parked the train there and you could walk up to it and just check out a you know this yeah. real train walk through it yeah and then you could walk they would let you walk to the other side and, and check it out and and explore all that stuff across the the tracks yeah. that was so cool yep. Um, that was really, really cool. My favorite part of that little area, again, it's like the, the train station building and all that. My favorite part of that is that if you ever go on, uh, great moments with Mr. Lincoln, I was just going to say, yeah, there's a part, the part, uh, well, it's at the American adventure in, in, uh, Florida too. Yeah. Epcot. Yeah. Same segment. But the two brothers mm. on their way. Two brothers. Yeah. Uh, and the part where the guy dies, spoiler. Yeah. Uh, and they have his coffin like by on, like Mueller's Landing or yep. whatever it's called. That's shot right they here. Just, they just dressed everybody up. They, yeah. They, they, it they looks like it. a real Civil War photo, but it's just them. Yep. They they brought a fake coffin over to just that train right station here. and took an old photo. <laughs> yeah. So that was pretty funny. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah, that that station's really cool. Uh, my favorite uh, moment I've ever had at that train station was. Uh. When we were, uh, I was coming off the train, and you you exit the train, and then there's like you open a gate, and there's a stairway for everyone to exit down. Yep. There were just like three teen girls just on their phone, just like blocking everybody, sitting on the stairway that everyone exits through. Yeah. I mean, it was like they must have just went up there and sat down, not knowing it was an exit. Yeah. Until they were blocking the whole exit. Yeah. Nobody's going through it when the train's not there. Yeah. So, so it yeah. was like a bunch of people just like uh, stepping over them and just trying to get yeah. over them. And then this old guy, he looked like Sam Elliott, <laughs> the actor Sam Elliott yeah. with the mustache and everything. He had a hat. Mm-hmm. Old Southern guy. And he stepped over them going, <laughs> and he looked at them and he went, it takes a lot of brains. <laughs> and then he stepped away and then looked back at them and went, or lack thereof. He, he was sounded, he was yeah. just like Yosemite Sam. Yeah. And I didn't want the train to step on that joke. <laughs> or not, not a joke, but an yeah. anecdote. Yeah. A lot of brains, or lack thereof. <laughs> I think about that all the time. Yeah. Oh god, that was like I was laughing about that for like seven hours <laughs> after I saw it. Uh, they weren't charging their phone though, for the record. No, they were just on their they phone. Were just, yeah, on phone was fully charged. The they were just yeah. watching it. Yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, that was such a uh, great memory. Do you have any good memories in New Orleans Square? Oh. I mean, can you think of? Yeah. One, uh, I mean, one at all. One big one. I proposed to my fiance at the fountain right over here. No, but I'm talking like uh, a positive. No, memory. this one that like, yeah. There's a fountain in between Haunted Mansion and Pirates, 
that has just there's nothing there. There's just like basically yeah. it's, a, it's a place to hang out. Again, 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 uh, New Orleans Square has a lot of great details. Yeah. Or whatever. Oh, this is really funny. Watch. I, I know these people. These, these people. These people recognized me earlier. Really. <laughs> If they, if they come back around, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna yell at them. Oh, sorry. No, oh, no. no, it's, no okay. it's okay. No, you can, you can, do you want to say hi? What was your name again? My name is Megan. Megan. Hi. Say hello. <laughs> and do you want to say hi? Or? This is my brother. There's a, there's a <laughs> I don't know, uh, I don't know if you got the audio with that. You, ju was it Justin? Vincent. 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 Why did I just hear Justin? <laughs> Oh, my know. ears are messed up. The train keeps going off and they're ringing and I, I can't. We just got off that, so it's our bad. Oh, really? Oh, you were on the train? Yeah. Oh. I haven't been on that today. Yeah, I'm me gonna, either. I'm going to have to do that. It was yep. fucking hot and I wasn't walking out. Oh, really? <laughs> well, there you go. I don't want to interrupt you guys anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no worries. No worries. Nice meeting you. Yeah, yeah good seeing you. Good meeting you, too. Friends. Thank you. You guys were at PAX East, right? Yes. You, you said that yeah. earlier. Okay, yeah. yeah. We, uh, we talked to Epcot for a little bit. Oh, okay. Awesome. Because yeah, uh, before, I don't want to... No, 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 no it's fine. fine. Before you guys went to Epcot officially, yeah. you were, we were shooting a shit about it for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Because you've never been before, so you asked yeah. some questions, and uh, so you love it. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's great. Oh, yeah. I, I've almost bought that shirt like three times. Yeah. Can you yeah. show the shirt on show there? The Can you show the shirt on there? I've almost, awesome I've almost got that shirt like three times. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Tom. Tom? Yeah. Okay. I heard Justin earlier. I yeah. wasn't sure if he said Tom, and it's actually like Larry or something. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that shirt is so cool. I love yeah. that shirt. It temporarily came out in black and white. Oh, oh really? Of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wish I would have got that. Yeah. Well, now I need to try eBay after this. Yeah. Damn it. All right. Don't want to interrupt. Yeah. No. Oh, no worries. No worries. This yeah. is, Thank you. This is all getting cut out, so don't yeah. worry. About no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, cut it out. <laughs> No, no worries. So thank you for stopping by. Yeah, thank you. I'm sorry I didn't want to interrupt. No, no, no it's fine. Hey, we said we said come on. Exactly. So it's, we it's wanted you to come over. The, the tape will show. I said yeah. I said go for it. <laughs> anyway. All right, you guys. Have a great night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you too. Yeah, have, have fun. Take it easy. Thank you. you too. Have a good one. Um. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. What the hell were we talking about? Oh, remember. the fountain. Oh, the fountain. Yeah. I proposed yes, to my the fiance. There. Uh, right over there. And oh, uh, yeah. We already, we already covered that. We didn't uh, even go into it. No, no, no. Yeah. Talk about it. It's. It's just, it's a really quiet place over there. It's out of the way. It's yeah, in between, again, well, it's, like, It's yeah. all part of New Orleans Square, having all these little quiet areas. Yeah, there's not, there's no, like, it's just a fountain, basically, yeah. with, with just places just to sit cute, around it. It's yeah. just a great detail. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's really cool. So that's, why, that's, why there? Because it's, uh, it's not the castle. Yeah, because I, I feel the same way. The castle's too, like, everybody, it's all the spectacle. Ca the and, castle, it's like the Super Bowl over there. Yeah. And it's like... Chaos, you yeah. know, you know. There, I think there's a there's an idealized thing where you think, oh, it's the castle, it's, yeah. it's the it's the iconic thing. You got to do it there, but it's kind of pandemonium. Yeah, I think th that it's perfect, quiet, out of the way. This is iconic too. Yeah. It's the perfect. It's the centerpiece of New Orleans Square, yeah. and it's beautiful. It's scenic, yeah. and and you kind of have the stage to yourself. Yeah, there's you know like nobody I mean? around. It so was great. Yeah. when I heard about that, I said, good call. Because yep. I know I know my approval on that was very important to you. Mm. He got it, so uh, <laughs> I knew he wasn't going to go through with it unless I gave the gave the thumbs up. You know what I mean? Guess what? I did it. <laughs> so no. Anyway, no. That's uh, yeah. So yeah. That's, now that, that's like my favorite fountain in the park. Yep. Well, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Really, you didn't like it more than the uh, which one? The the Muppet one? The, oh, at, uh, in Florida. Oh, no. I, I think the Roger Rabbit one's pretty cool, but that, oh, that's okay. a close second. Oh, close second. Yeah, the one yeah. where uh, water come out of his ears. That, that that's that's yeah. what I proposed. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> nobody else is there. It's just me, but I <laughs> hopefully somebody heard it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So some good mem some yeah. good memories. Here. Yeah. New Orleans Square is great. <laughs> it's quiet and like. Yeah. It's the it's just it represents I think the best of what Disney can do. Yeah. It doesn't have to be, really, if you think about it, it doesn't, it's the best symbol of why Disney doesn't have to be IP based. Yeah. The whole land is an original thing that was just made for the park and it's alive. Yep. You know what I mean? And, you know, Pirates came out of nowhere. It wasn't based on a movie, you mm -hmm. know, same with, you know, whatever. Yeah. And the land, well, I guess the land was based on an existing land, but. Yeah. Uh, not a, IP, it's not a Disney movie. Yeah, but it's not IP. It, 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 yeah. it, it's just a living, breathing thing. And you don't really see that in American parks anymore. You might see it in Japan. Yeah. Like they'll do, uh, you know, uh, Volcano Island or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, or uh, what, what do they call it? Is that what um, it's called? The I don't know. 
Not Volcano Island. No. Whatever. But at Disney Sea. I know, I know what you're talking about. All the about. lands at Disney Sea, they feel like living, breathing places. Yeah. And then they might have an IP here or there, or they yeah. might have a character here or there. But the focus is making it a living, breathing place. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Galaxy's Edge, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, is IP based. It's based on Star Wars, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I will say they did do a good job at making it feel like a living, breathing place in terms of like, oh, they, yeah. put, they put the thought into it. it. It feels like it had been a long time since we had a place that felt lived in and like mm -hmm. had that grit to it, you know? So that's yeah. what I do like about Galaxy's Edge. It could use a little more um, activity in terms of like robots moving around, yeah. or creatures walking around, you know, stuff like that. But um, but it, it has that feeling to it. So I feel like mm -hmm. if I was a kid, I would really love it. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't love $200 lightsabers because I, you know, nope. I, that would be out of the question. Yeah. But when you're an adult and uh, you're completely irresponsible with your money, yeah, it's get a lightsaber. Then it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, then it's just go go nuts. Yeah. Um, and uh, squander your life away on mm -hmm. just uh, lights lightsabers. Yeah. You know, which <laughs> it's just working out pretty good. Um, anyway, uh, it's so funny because I got that one lightsaber, yeah. and even that I thought, oh man, I'm such a dork. I can't believe this. I know so many people that have like gotten like six of them multiple ones like oh yeah i went there i got eight different ones it's like yeah. what are you talking about I so know. let that be a lesson to you out there if you ever feel like an outcast like a dork like a you know loser nerd mm. whatever there's always someone a bigger dork than you now i feel like i'm insulting some people i know right now that's not what i mean no. i honestly think it's cool that they do that yeah but like you know everyone's got their thing so do your thing they got theirs don't worry about it there you go. Yeah. Said it as non-insulting as I yeah. possibly can. Anyway, the train's coming in again. Is there anything else to I really cover for that? I can't anything. We covered both rides in other episodes. We even covered Epcot for a minute. Yeah. You you hadn't heard about that? With that? No. They're, they're, they're going to change. news to me. They're going to change. Epcot I know that whole area. Uh, yeah, the whole entrance to Epcot is changing. Yeah, and I, just, a lot I of, didn't know about that. A yeah. lot of it for the better. Yeah. Like, the all the, like, stone, make a memory right, yeah. stones. Those are going to Those are all going away, and that's good. Like, it's going to be very scenic, very, you know, lots of yeah. trees, lots of whatever. It looks kind of like the Epcot entrance used to, a better version of it. But uh, the Fountain of Nations being removed to have a beer garden is, like, That's so stupid. Sick. Yeah. That, to me, is such a blow yeah. to what Epcot is and what it's about. And that just, that, that made me, like grossed out yeah it, it's not even that they're bulldozing it for a statue mm -hmm. or uh or a an exhibit or something it's yeah. a beer garden like like i've never heard the situation summed up more in one paragraph yeah <sighs> it's like that's what they see epcot as huh? A beer garden okay damn very sad anyway we're not here to cry about epcot no we'll do that another day yep and we will and there will be tears, at least for me. I can't speak for you, but uh, anyway. Um, but for today, that's New Orleans Square. Yeah. Um, oh, oh. One time there was a ghost. You want to talk about the ghost? They oh, saw? the ghost they saw on the uh, the entrance of Haunted Mansion. Video from of security a camera. Yeah, dude. Security camera caught a ghost. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Go check it out. In New Orleans Square. It's uh, it's definitely a ghost and not a tape that has been taped over a bunch of times. And the, an artifact and from a previous see, and recording. And you see a ghost of people. Yeah. yeah. No. 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 Can't be. It's, it's a ghost. It's, it's a real ghost. Yep. Proved it. So wa and watch this creepy old crypt again. I bet you'll see a ghost in this too. Probably. You, watch it really closely. Keep watching this episode again and again until you see it. Because you'll see it. You'll see something. Yep. Anyway. I think that's it, yeah? Yeah. All right. Let's get a fast pass.